Welcome to this video on Quizzes AI. Quizzes is a tool you might be familiar with from previous years. Uh, Quizzes is very similar to like Kahoot and that you could generate uh, game-based quizzes for your class or individual practice for students. Quizzes now has an AI tool that uh, generates its own quizzes where you don't have to manually enter questions or type questions. You can actually use resources like worksheets, documents, YouTube videos, websites to actually auto-generate quizzes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to log in. Uh, if you already have an account with this, you should be able to log in. If not, you can create one using Google. If your school has restrictive settings about what you can use your Google ID for, um, you might not be able to, to access that. You might have to use your personal email to, to get here. Notice right on the front page, we've got create with quizzes AI. So we've got some options here. Um, assessments from worksheets, YouTube videos, docs or slides. You can see all kinds of resources. Um, also, you can access that by clicking over here on Explore where you see this Quiz is AI, which is new. So I'm just going to open the actual menu here for Quiz is AI. And then I'm going to start with my worksheet or question bank. So this is going to extract work questions based on a worksheet that you feed it. So if you have scanned worksheets or pre-made question banks, maybe in different kinds of documents, it can actually take those and make them into quizzes. So I'm just going to upload that. I'm going to choose a PDF that I've already um, downloaded here. Uh, so it's going to take a couple seconds and it's going to upload that PDF. Then I can tell it some different options here like language. I'll do five questions. Um, I'm going to say that this is math and that it's fourth grade. And then I'm going to hit generate the quiz. Depending on how big or small your resource is, it might take a few minutes to do this. I'll flip over and show you. So this is what I'm using is this uh, PDF document here uh, that's just double digit edition. Um, so it's going to scan that PDF and it's going to go ahead then and generate um, a quiz from that activity. And then it's going to give me some options on being able to edit, um, feedback, alter the questions, uh, different types of things. So here we go. So I've got my calculate the sum, calculate the sum. I can set the times just like all other normal quizzes features. But some of the cool options here, I've got an AI button. I can actually take this and I can replace it with a similar question if I don't like that one or I want to do another one. But this one's real, I think, interesting. Convert to real world scenario. So I hit this, okay, and it tells me, switches it to like a word problem. And I say, yep, I want to do that. So some pretty cool options here uh, on the on the quiz. I can then go ahead and do my publish uh, if I want to do that. Um, so it comes in here and I can do those different options with quizzes, right? So then I can play that or share that. Uh, other options uh, you can create from documents. So for example, this would be like, again, anything that's here. So let's say I've got a transcript of the Gettysburg Address. And I want to come in here and I want to upload that and I'm going to take and I'm going to upload a transcript of the Gettysburg Address and then I want to create a quiz or a game from that. Once again, it uploads, it asks me what it is. Maybe this is, uh, and this is just again about like uh, filing these different options. Okay, uh, you can allow the students to read. Okay, so I can actually turn this on and actually have that be part of the quiz as I'm reading. I didn't do that there. But then again, we're generating um, a quiz based on uh, a document. Again, you saw the file types. It could be like a PowerPoint. Uh, you can do slides. You can do docs. You can do PDFs. So anything that you have that's an existing resource. Again, once again here, this goes multiple choice. Uh, it goes ahead and it creates those. Even though these people aren't mentioned in the document at all, uh, it knows with AI power, it goes ahead and generates those. So I can add additional questions down here if I want um, for those. So that's a really cool uh, option as well. Um, YouTube video. This one I think is maybe the best. Um, you can actually paste a YouTube video link. So here's a YouTube video about 10 minutes long about the phases of the moon. So how do the phases of the moon work? What are they? I can go ahead and I can paste that link in. I can tell it I'd like five questions, that this is science. I can trim the video if I want, because this can be, this embeds questions into your video as you go. So this is on, so actually we'll be watching the video and then mid 
um, video, it will stop and then you can answer a question. Again, this is based inside of quizzes, but we're taking a YouTube video link and we're pasting it in um, for those. So you can either have students um, watch the entire video and then create a quiz from it, or you can see right here, I can have this video going and you'll see these little stopping points where it's generated questions. So I can hit the play video, we'll go there. Here. Also, the closed captioning is a nice feature. So you can see then the questions that are generated from it at what point um, in the video. There's your 208, 628, 628, 628. It's got three questions right here at this point. Okay, so very cool. Uh, adding similar questions, translating the quiz. That's maybe my favorite of all of those. So uh, lastly, you can do the same exact thing from a website or an article. So just for example, let's say we've got ourselves an article like this one that we had in our lesson here. I can take that article or a website and I can do the exact same thing by pasting the URL into that option there and I can paste and it will generate the quiz in the exact same way. So lots of different options for taking resources and having AI generated assessments or quizzes. And then again, these are in a game based kind of quizzes environment, uh, but you can also with quizzes, there's printable options. Again, here we go uh, to do it that way. You can also create from scratch uh, if you want to come in and you just want to say, uh, my topic is George Washington. Okay. And then I want five questions. This is, you know, again, whatever we want to do. Okay. Maybe we call this 12th grade. I can actually come in here depending on, so social studies standards aren't supported, but if I come in here and I choose math, I can actually come in and I can choose um, what standards I want to do. This is second grade, so I'll go ahead and I'll just do this so you can see, even though it's not about George Washington. And then I can also uh, choose the standards from my topic and I can have it create a quiz that way as well. So I can go from scratch, I can use the standards, I don't have to use the standards. There's all kinds of different options uh, for creating.